Hello, this is Bobby at Copel TV Repair, and this is quick functionality pro video. Uh, power supply board APS 439, uh, which is used in Sony XR77A 80J. The board was sent to us for repair. Those boards tend to fail a lot, and uh, the only thing that I will show you is that the screen is up and running. Um, Based on what we're seeing, there will probably be a common failure. And for the time being, the only thing that we're doing is we're replacing the failed components in the circuits uh, with the exact same ones. Those are fairly new design for our standards, fairly new production. Many times we're seeing uh, when it comes to, especially to power uh, switchers, MOSFETs, ICs with built-in MOSFETs, uh, SMPS drivers with built-in MOSFETs, many times we see newer generations being worse than the older transistor, costing more and failing sooner. I can give a bunch of examples. We've been using 20 and 60 in two. T220 packaging for as long as we could find them brand new and they were way better than anything that comes new now we're using something else so anyhow for the time being we're using that so that will give you another maybe three four years before the same thing happens again and hopefully in the meantime we will find out or somebody else will find out uh, how to improve the board or use different parts uh, so that they don't fail it could be because of the design, it could be because the parts themselves were poorly manufactured, uh, designed and or manufactured, whatever it is, uh, apparently this is going to be a common problem. But this board is working. Today is uh, 2nd of May 2024 and it is ready to be shipped back. Thank you for using us for your repair.